Welcome to Brandon Voice Guys, stranger. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Brandon here. So, for those, uh, mostly all of you, who have not been following me on Twitch, I have been playing the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now, I just want to go ahead and say it, buy the game, like, buy the game. It is that good. It is everything that I ever wanted in a Resident Evil 4 Remake and more. I rage out a lot in this game. I, I, I sing. For some reason when I get mad, I sing. I don't know why. I, 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 I always I always sing, rant, really weird, but I do. Uh, can't explain it. It just happens. Anyways, enough of that. Ah, man. What? By the way, spoilers. If uh, for any reason you haven't played the original or if you don't want any of this uh, remake spoiled, uh, I would not want you watching this video. Not saying don't watch this video, e even if you don't care. Like, like we don't care for spoilers. But if you haven't played the remake, and there's enough, and you played the original, and you want to know what's different, there are differences to the game. Absolutely. And well, for the most part, it's just a, like, you know, some things are different. Some things are done differently. And in the scheme of things, it makes sense why they were different. Yeah, let, let, let's let, let's get down to this review. It's, it's sort of a review like thing. First of all, you barely see any of Sadler. Uh, Leon does not encounter Sadler until nearing the end, I would say. Uh, what you do see are they they, they hear Sadler's voice. Like they actually implement the whole thing of they're controlling the Las Plaga, the the the, the Plagas inside the villagers, the zealots, the G Ginados. You can hear him controlling them, like after them, our prisoner, or you know, it has escaped. Go, go get them, and you see, you see a glimpse of Sad Sadler controlling. Uh, Krauser like you see him controlling Krauser or giving him orders and uh, so it's it's uh, it's implied that Sadler brainwashed Krauser by an, give, giving him an alpha parasite to allow him to transform so it, it, it really shows you that Krauser wasn't thinking of himself Krauser was the way he was you know he was an asshole but at the same time, spoilers, uh, when he gives Leon the orders to finish him off, that was him. You know what I mean? Like, that was Krauser. That was the real Krauser. Not not the, witness the power! You know, time to die, Cle uh, Cleon. I said it again. Time to die, Leon. I don't know. Krauser? Krauser was an interesting boss fight. It, 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 it was a lot more interesting than uh, the original it, it had elements of the original but without that stupid hunt you know what I mean like you had to go find Krauser that was it and there were trip mines and there were all that stuff another thing that I love about this game is it cuts so much of the fat off this game and by fat I mean parts of the game that you're like ah, come on already it was kind of cutting not all of it there were some parts that they added that were needed like they replaced it um, there's no uh, there's a reason why there's two uh, El Gigantes El Gigante fucking amazing boss fight the wolf the 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 white doggo which is a white dog now her entrance I think it's a her was amazing she was such a badass in this there's a lot of annoying parts that the game just absolutely just cut out and what's weird is I didn't notice it like I didn't notice that there were parts cut out like I felt like there were I felt there was like cuz like there's some moments in this game where I was like oh really already with uh, Mendez I thought that there was which by the way I love how they make them 
uh, a nemesis kind of character, you know what I mean? Like, you can't kill him. He's impossible. He's impervious. Makes Leon look like a bitch. Just slapping him around, man. Oh, man. I, I mean, just crazy. Uh, w when we got to the Mendez fight, it was like... Already? Really? Like, really? We're doing it now? And uh, the part with the door... That was interesting. He he bends the door before the chase rather than the fight. And uh, yeah, again, I said this before. It does enough. It it, it it is Resident Evil 4, but it is different. It follows the iconic parts. The iconic parts that need to be there are there to where you can walk in. And they make it different. To where it's not the same but the aesthetic like it looks the same oh man H how do i explain this if you've played resident evil enough like i have unfortunately you can go into the church and be like god damn this is the church like it's similar enough to where you know what it is and you feel that nostalgia the, the whole graveyard in church at the same time it's it's familiar enough to where you can feel that nostalgia but it's different enough to where you feel like it's the first time you've been there again. Like like it's the very first time you've been there. Like you feel that that just discovered like, like you've just discovered it for the first time all over again. This game awakens that prime that that primal fear I felt when I first played it when I was 13. The El Gigante fight, the uh Krauser fight. The fight with Del Lago, by the way, first try, no deaths. The Del Lago fight, I did a lot better than I did the first, like in the in the original. I was just nailing them, bam, 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 harpoons, just sticking them. And uh, by the way, you don't get knocked off your boat. You don't get knocked off your boat. You don't, at least for me, I didn't get knocked off my boat. I don't know if you can. I don't know if it's possible to get knocked off, but he just gets jerked around. I think your boat has a health meter. I think your boat has a health to where if it gets knocked enough, it'll like the carts. By the way, there's a cart scene. And by the way, the cart scene isn't where you're sitting in. I was expecting the cart scene to be sitting in and riding and maybe catching, you know, you got to lean with the cart and you shoot them before they get to you. No, no, no. People come in from the sides. And you have to shoot him. And then a chainsaw guy comes in. I think I saw... I think someone made a video of like test things of this. I swear it's like... Beta footage? Or like... Teaser footage of, of that? Maybe? Like we, we saw teaser footage of that. Sometime and I forgot about it. But yeah, that's why it felt familiar. At the end of the day, the game's amazing. It's it's amazing. Uh, the 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 weapons are the pretty much the same. You get like you get a machine gun and a um like an actual machine gun, and I don't know if it takes I don't know if it shoots hand rounds, handgun rounds. Um, but yeah, I pretty much rocked the uh, Red Nine. Well, I I uh, I pre-ordered the deluxe edition, you know, so I got. The Skull Shatter. Is it, is it, is it, is it Skull Shatter? And the uh, Sentinel-9. Upgraded the Sentinel-9 to full capacity. I didn't get the uh, exclusive though. I don't think I I don't think I did, uh, did the exclusive. Probably should have. Um, I want to know what which one... I want to know if one of them offers unlimited ammo. You know what I mean? Uh, I know the Striker. I don't know if the Striker still offers 100, 100 rounds. But anyways, uh, I, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick a weapon, and I'm gonna commit to upgrading it full. Like I did that with the knife, Krauser's knife, and I did that with the Red Nine. Best, uh, best handgun, by the way, in my opinion. But every time a new variant, like a new shotgun, came out, I sell the old one, and then use that to buy the new shotgun, and then kind of tinker with it, tune it up. I used the Red Nine. The striker at the end of the game, I had the red nine, the striker. What was the uh, semi-automatic rifle? 
I can't think of what the rifle's called. Uh, the Killer 7. And uh, the Hunt, the Fighting Knife, or uh, Crouser's Knife. I had a few grenades with me. Always get flash grenades. Just, just for birds. Or uh, plagas. Uh, Krauser, uh, no, no, Krauser. Saddler fight. Saddler's fight. It is everything. It is legit. Uh, a, uh, if you know what this means, this is legit a RE remake boss fight. And I'm gonna say it right now. That's it's so much better than the original. Now going back to, um, I should have said this before. Uh, I was gonna touch back on why it felt so r not rushed. But the fat was trimmed. The island. The island felt good. The island felt a little lagging. A little annoying. I felt like maybe uh, they, they trimmed enough of the island to where it was tolerable. But god, I died the most times over there. Because it's so annoying still. <laughs> but I got through. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I think it was because I, I hated the island part. And it's a lot better than the original, but man. And one thing I gotta say about the remake is they made the villagers fucking nuts. They just attack. They they are relentless. They swarm you. They are like ants. They 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 again. It's 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 parasite. Oh, and the parasite variants. Uh, the first two, the, 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 the head burster one is all right. Here's the thing, uh, with the red nine, with the red nine, three or four shots can take them down. Three or four shots, three maybe, if you hit the head, uh, I can take down someone with a good head shot and a kick most of the times. Uh, sometimes it takes two or three, one, you know, maybe the head might take three. But yeah, the red nine all the way. If there's a better gun, let me know. Shotgun, I can usually blast. Just boom, boom, boom. You know, that's shotgun I use mostly for crowd control. For for multiple people at once. That's the best way for crowd, you know. Uh, sniper rifle, I'd say for far distance enemies and uh, maybe a boss fight or two. I used it for uh, Salazar. Oh, Salazar. Far better than the original. Boss fight, far better than the original. But I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil Salazar. You will have to experience Salazar for yourself. You will... I, I'm sorry. For those who play the original and for those who are new. Get this game. Experience Salazar by yourself. Because that is the best way to do it. I, I'm rambling on here. The reason why I feel like the game kind of... Kind of goes a little faster paced than the original is I forgot entirely about the U3. I forgot entirely that the U3 was in this game. Like I I I was what was it? I I was just looking back at the game. I can't remember who was playing it. Corey Kenton or something. And then I remembered, "Oh wait, yeah, the U3." Let's be honest here. The the U3 as scary and as memorable as it was, was pretty much useless like there was no real real reason to have them in there maybe they'll include them as a DLC boss that's what it feels like you know maybe for separate ways which by the way I love that they included some cutscenes from separate ways into the game the cutscene with Luis because it adds it adds context you see a lot more Ada in this, which makes sense because if you're going to include Ada for just one or two scenes, that that's, you know. But here, you get context into what she's doing. You get context. So maybe they'll include separate I don't know if I've seen it. I want to jump jump back on cuz it's my day off. Uh, I'm going to jump on Twitch, by the way. Check out my Twitch. Um, we're going to we're going to talk about that. Anyways, another thing I want to talk about, I, I'm, I'm gushing out here. This is going to be me gushing for 20, uh, over 10 minutes of here. 
The Regenerators. Boy, the Regenerator. Let's talk about the enemies here. Uh, first of all, again, the Regenerators. Boy. Jesus. They made them flabby. Like, they, they gave them man... They gave them, like, flabby, jiggly parts. And they gave the dude cheeks. Like, who who gives an enemy cheeks? Like, that that's... Why? So, they're a little more bullshit than the original. They they constantly grab and throw... They, they constantly use their rubber arms. To, like, grab you and pull you in. Uh, I don't feel like you get nearly good enough chance to shoot them. But, you absolutely can kill them without the use of a thermal scope. Which they give you, by the way, in the same spot. Uh, once you shoot them... A hole will appear, like a hole will appear, and you can see the, the the parasite. It's glowing. It's like a glowing parasite. You see him, but the thermal one is a more efficient way to kill him by saving ammo. If you can get a good shot in, because they're like jiggling and stuff. And here's the interesting thing: there are no different variations. There's no uh, what one more time say? Uh, you don't encounter them individually. You don't encounter the Iron Maidens individually. Like, you don't just run across an Iron Maiden. What you do is you kill, uh, you kill one of them, and then they blow up. Their top part blows up, and instead of staying there, I, th I think you blow them up, or you blow them in half. Like, you just, like, blow them up in half. I know that weird, it sounds weird saying, you know. But anyways, they, the upper part's probably like falling back. And you see like these tendrils just like freaking out. And then he regrows and he has spikes now. So it's like a kind of like a parasite, like like a headburster version where the, you, you kill him once and then they come back. But yeah. They come back as the Iron Maiden. So you kill him once, they come back with the spikes and their heads all like split like this. And inside their mouth is the parasite again, the where or the the parasite forms here, or it's like a brain or something like that, the, the whatever. And you gotta shoot him in the head to kill him. Like there's no more here or whatever in the back, or one and one in the back. There's just one right here, and it's a lot trickier to shoot than you think. It is uh, for for me at least. It was. It was like I I had to like, you know. But anyways, other than that, yeah. Uh, the bosses, all of them look crazy. The the blind guy with the Wolverine claws, a lot easier to handle if you're quiet. The first time you fight him, you're you're in this room with like certain like chains with the insignias on them, and you can make noise, and they'll they'll run after you. Uh, but yeah, there's scenes like the original that just feel more heftier if that may like heftier like like bigger and look just so amazing far better than the original and it's like jesus this is amazing the salazar statue is back but not in the way you think i was kind of upset about that but it's back it's it's still there I think that's all uh, that's all I wanted to talk about I'm sure there's probably when I watch this video I'm like oh you forgot to do this did this the shooting gallery I like it nice it's it's use pirates instead of the Granados and Ashley uh, you get coins it gets you accessories for your chest for your case you can choose with different cases that have different things like more ammo more shotgun shells more and then the accessories give you extra boosts give you extra uh, upgrades like you can have you can get more health from vipers you can uh, get more shotgun shells from crafting finding more uh, shotgun shells or a specific item the soundtrack uh, the soundtrack amazing the original one was good too but the new one the one that for the the one for the remake is amazing like it, it's got that the uh, the remix of the original opening song you hear whenever you're riding in the car, that's in the shooting gallery. All you have to do is, I think you gotta hit every target. 
And then that activates uh, all these chests that pop up and you can shoot them. And you can get the Salazar, you can shoot them and see how many you can get before all the Salazars pass through. It plays a remix of the original, like that song that plays while you're heading to the village with the cops. That's all this, this game is more than just nostalgia for people who love the original. It is a new experience for Resident Evil 4. And again, I, I raged a lot near the end of it and stuff where I was like oh my god bullshit did it did but when I finally got through it I just it's just me talking shit and I'm mad and at the end of the day I like that I like that it gave me that rage it gave me that determination to like get through it and I don't want I hope people don't think I'm whining about the game you know what I mean I don't want to turn into <laughs> um um DSP but uh no anyways uh i don't know I, I i love this game i love this game i'm i'm gonna try and make this less than 30 minutes i'm gonna try and cut out a lot of my quiet moments so you can just you'll you'll know <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh let me know what you guys think of the remake let me know if you're getting the remake and yeah i highly recommend it you will not be disappointed uh, if you haven't already, check out G Fuel. I wish I could get, uh, I wish I can get a answer from my notification. I, I sent an application to get into, uh, the sponsorship, uh, the spot, I, you know, and I haven't heard from them, so I don't know how long it'll take for my application to get approved or whatever. Sorry about that. Anyways, guys, oh man, it's, it's, it's been a crazy three days, 20 hours. Let's see how long it took you to beat the game. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. See ya. Thank you so much for watching the video. Want more content by me? Check out these two videos down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video and hit the notification bell to let you know when I upload my next video. Got an idea for a voice video or voice request? Let me know in the comment section below. It's always great to hear from you guys. Don't forget to check out my other social medias and donation sites. Every donation is greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. This is Brandon Voice Guy, signing off.